What's up guys? It's been like uh, a few days since I did the last four-wheeler video and I told you guys I got all these parts and everything, told you I was going to install them. Well, I went ahead and did that. So I want to just go ahead and touch base, show you guys what I did and let you all know what I think so far and all that. So let's go ahead and get to it and let me show you guys what I did. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to it. So I got my Wild Boar Radiator Relocation Kit in. That thing is pretty sweet. It was actually pretty simple to install. It came with all the necessary parts, but just drilled holes right through this uh, through this top box and everything. And then there's little plates that actually hold this on underneath. They go up underneath there, so you actually have like full contact underneath. Came with the hoses. That was real nice. Um, the hoses are... They're a little bit hard to work with. That's all right, though. And let's see. Came with, yeah, that's just about it. And then the little T-fittings that are down here where they all connect with each other. So there's a little T-fitting back in there that just goes right there and connects those two together. Now, I was told that those don't work very well. We're going to see what they do. I haven't really had much time to ride this around yet. But, you know, we'll go ahead and see when that when we get to that but i mean the look of it it just looks it looks really really nice i'm i'm impressed with it and i went ahead and bought a little mini led bar just toss up top that thing's pretty sweet and the lift kit is done so let's see it looks pretty mean and the two inch spacers are on the two inch spacers i think made the quad like it makes it just look so badass it's all widened out and just looks mean and aggressive and the lift kit turned out pretty sweet now both my rear tires are flat this one's got a leak. Okay, whatever. This one actually has a massive hole in it. As you can see, it's completely flat. So this doesn't really give you a great, uh, great, you know, overview of how big the quad is now. But go ahead and show you up to myself here. This is at my waist, guys, and I'm I'm five foot eleven, so it's pretty tall. Not too bad. Got the seat cover on. The seat cover turned out pretty cool. Got a little orange camo in there had to do the orange camo that's just a seat cover that was 20 bucks shipped i'll put the dis uh, i'll put the link in the description so if you guys are interested in those they have those in all different colors and everything they're 20 bucks shipped you can't go wrong with that got my orange grips on and also the sound bar the sound bar turned out real sweet it sounds awesome guys that thing is actually pretty impressive for the price and I'll go ahead and link everything that I bought in the description just so if anyone is interested in any of this you can go ahead and buy it yourself but yeah, so that's how the quad turned out. Oh, trying to step back here. It looks pretty sweet though. I mean, the lift kit turned out turned out not too bad. Now it was a four inch lift, super, super easy actually. So you literally take the top bolt up out of here for the shock and then you can take the whole shock out and everything. And you just put that little spacer in. Then there's also a spacer that goes up top as well. I can't show that to you. It's, it's like tucked up in there. You can't see it, but Let's go to the back. The back was pretty much the same exact thing. You got a spacer up top, and then you put in these little spacers right here, and then there's these little brackets down there. So it comes with these new little brackets right there on that side, and it just moves the shock to a different location. It moves it up a little bit to make it a little bit taller. So, And then the big two-inch spacers, like I said, they just push the tires out, make it look real, real aggressive. I'm really excited on how that looks. Very, very stoked. So once I get to riding it, I'll let you guys know, but one of my axles right now is clicking like a mofo. I pulled it up and out of the garage and rode it around on the side lot real quick. And yeah, one of my axles is definitely shot. Took a shit, so gotta do that. And then I'm having my buddy Justin, I'm gonna give him my front and rear bash bars off this. We're gonna powder coat those orange. So I think that would be pretty cool. Now, also, guys, I picked up something else. I'm not going to tell you what it is in this episode. Well, you know what? Maybe. Eh. No, I'm not even going to tell you. I picked up another toy, and I'm going to let you guys know what that is probably tomorrow. So stay tuned because I did buy a new toy. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, ah, oh, why? And then a, a big handful, you're going to be like, fuck yeah, dude, that's sweet. So we'll see what you guys think guys so if you have any questions or comments about the four-wheeler or any anything that you just want answered about it go ahead and let me know in the comments down below and like i say on all my videos like and subscribe i can't do this without you guys we're almost to a thousand subscribers i'm really really stoked on that guys really stoked let's get to a thousand and i'm doing that giveaway all right guys have a great day have a great weekend week whatever the fuck it's thursday i'm going to the car meet tonight so all right guys peace